And I'm wearing my Iowa shirt. Just because we got our ass kicked in Michigan. Although, it was only 10 to 3, but boy. I'm not backing down because this is Penn State week. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. That's uh, that's the uh, college it football was an ugly, portion. Maybe one of the ugly. It was hard. Our quarterback threw three. I know you're not going to talk about the Iowa Hawkeye, but our quarterback threw three t- interceptions. Gene has to uh, three get, in, points. Get, in when he, get in where he fits in, right? Hey, Wisconsin's good. I'll, okay, All right. Well, Gene, we go. do have a college football section. Oh, okay, okay. So I let's just uh, right. save ahead. it. save it for that. Okay. okay. There's a big menu here with all menu. the uh, topics here. All righty. So uh, mm. join in with the audience. And okay. Let's take a one step at a time. But I'm just saying, I'm not giving up on <laughs> Iowa. I'll be there all Saturday right. with my mom and my sister and my brother. Oh, a lot of He's it. not giving up. No. He's not giving up. We're beating Penn State Saturday night, national TV. It's on ABC wow. Prime Time. All right. Last time we did that two years ago, they broke our hearts. Saquon Barkley. Mm, not good. Well, but this time it's going to be different. Saquon Barkley might be back in time to break the Bears' hearts. Oh, my gosh. Um, Yeah. uh, But we got uh, a lot to talk about, including uh, the name of the show. We should maybe talk about that. Mm, It's called the Midwest. Okay. Well, it's called the Midwest Sports Show, Gene. Yeah, okay. And uh, it's a duo, a magical Mm -hmm. duo. Uh, My name is Chris Stotts, and then that is Gene Steichen. You need to be wearing something from Wisconsin. You got to start repping Wisconsin clothes. Get some Badger gear going. Uh, well, Gene, see, I, you know, uh, no offense, Gene. Yeah. Because th- that's uh, your whole wa- wa- whole wardrobe. I I wear is either, uh, sports uh, yeah, paraphernalia. Yeah, I do. I I wear Iowa. I wear Cubs. I actually wear something from Green Bay today. You're like a cool. uh, you're like a, a walking recruiting booklet. I know, but you know, when you live in Hollywood, which I do, and you walk down Hollywood Boulevard, the best way to meet tourists is wear something from their state, and they're like, "Oh yeah, hey, I'm from there too." Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, where are you from? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, what were you guys doing? Oh, just visiting. Oh, and it's okay. a good way to right. get accosted Goodbye. by. Th- <laughs> there must be five different Spider Men between uh, Highland and, and the Chinese state because they have all these costume characters. And they, they're relentless, but the Spider Man. And they're just, you're right. They're just. They're what you going to shoot that web at you? <laughs> you can't get yeah, away. Oh, my gosh. They're just meth addicts, <laughs> right? Yeah, man, yeah. they're uh, oh my gosh. T- take, t- t- taking money from Square. Hey, I'm going back for a to, photo. I'm going back to Dubuque. Uh, Tur- turning week. it straight around for a rock. Yeah, may I say this? I was in Dubuque a couple weeks ago, and I'm going back Friday. No, no Spider Man harassing you. <laughs> no, but take the, a picture. The opposite of Spider Man harassing you is uh, getting to see Cheryl. So it All was right, great. She went, we went to our high school football game. We won forty nine to thirteen, something like that. I think that was right. Hey, do you, does it feel a little weird? Do, that's what we're going to do to Penn State this weekend. So, I'm my best to show. Does, does it feel a little weird to just watch those little kids just like play their hearts out for you? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was, it was like, <laughs> right. gosh, I was really that age at one point. Yeah, you're like they're babies. Yeah, thought you were the yeah. king, king of the school. Yeah, king, 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 own, king of they, uh, they put us in a special section. <laughs> <Those great tenses. laughs> yeah, special section, just like yeah. a special class. Wait, hey, it was my first game. It was great though. They they right. they even had the running clock. Okay, go ahead. Brewers lost. Oh, that was well, so Gene. Sad. We have a, a lot to talk about, including mm. uh, Brewers. And Gene, listen, Gene. Yeah, I know uh, everyone's heard me uh, crow about the Brewers wow. for the past uh, nine months. Oh my God! And uh, you all must be uh, tired of hearing me, mm. uh, you know, stick up for them, right? Well, uh, it, it's it's time for Schadenfreude, everyone. Oh. You waited this whole time, and now you're going to get it. Don't. So you better enjoy it. What? What are you going to do? So we'll talk about that. Okay. I will wallow that. in the misery of the Brewers losing. I'm. I'll so everyone will, will be able to listen. I will wallow with you. <laughs> All right. We got some uh, college football. I was going to be Penn State Saturday night on national <laughs> TV. I think it's going to be Kirk Herbstreet and uh, what's the other guy? Oh, Chris Fowler. Yeah, prime time, baby. All and right. it's going to be, I think, 40 degrees. It's going to be cold, but I don't care. Doesn't matter. Doing. Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. You got, you got the you got the cornfield, just like right. uh, like the old days in the cornfield. Hey, Penn State, you're not going into Rutgers. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Penn State, there, there ain't no knitting lions <laughs> yeah. in, in they, Pennsylvania. Penn okay. State. They're undefeated, so they are undefeated, and apparently they're pretty good. But, hey, guess what, Penn State? You're not playing Purdue. 
Yeah. They, they beat Purdue last weekend. This ain't, this, this, ain't, this ain't a bunch of little boys in the yeah. bathroom shower, okay? And guess what? Uh, <laughs> this isn't Maryland you're rolling into. You're going into <laughs> Iowa City. Good luck. Although they beat us last time, so what am I talking about? They got to start saying the Iowa yeah. City. They we are. Saying that. Oh, no, that's what you say. When you meet a Penn State person, I met a lot last time, you say we are, and they go Penn State. That's their big thing. Jeez, God, so goddamn annoying. We are Penn State. How about stupid? How about yeah. that? Yeah. Hmm. You are stupid. How about uh, that? I, I, yeah, as long as they All don't right. beat us. Okay. And then uh, we'll talk a little football. All right. Okay. A little football That's to awesome. uh, round what it out. What a great day of football yesterday, except for the Bears losing. Yep. Well, uh, the, the sun doesn't set where the uh, Bears lose, Gene. Oh, that was they sad. S- they lose uh, all across Man. the globe. But, Gene, we will save up for that. Okay. Again, we got to tease them, Gene. We just can't right, just, okay. just shoot, shoot, right, show them everything yeah, all at once. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we're going to talk about the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. Oh, wild card and I'm game. seeing Joker tomorrow. Fantastic. I'm very right. excited. And I saw Blue Man Group last night. Very good. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, all right. So the Milwaukee Brewers uh, were not mm. able to win wow. the division, and they were forced to play the stupid wild card game. The bottom of the eighth. And uh, Gene, uh, and listen, Gene, it, it's, 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 it's nice and fun. Whoops. It's nice and fun. Yeah. When your team wins, and you're right, like, hey, what's right. wrong with the wild card? You got to win. You got to win, right? right? right you got to right. win. You won. Oh, no, you weren't in the wild card. Cubs were in the wild card last, last year. Last year, right. Beat. We yeah. pushed you into the wild card. Yes, you did on the last <clears throat> day of the game, year. Yep. Yeah. And uh, hey, it's it's baseball, right? It's right. baseball, Gene. It's yeah. Th- that's the way it is. Yeah, that's how it goes. Uh, well, t- let, me, let me tell you something, Gene. A little, little different. A little oh. different on this side of things, on the losing mm-hmm. side of things, all right? Oh my gosh! Listen, I like the Brewers. I was rooting for them to win the World Series. If I can, if the Cubs can't win, I'd love to see the Brewers win. And that bottom of the eighth, and, and well, uh, all right, again, let's let's we can get okay. this. save it. Save I'm it. just saying it hurt me. Okay. I'm I'm not I'm not being impassioned. Gene, no one gives a shit. <laughs> You're a Cubs fan, okay? Jeez. Yeah, but it's still the pain. Hey, let's nourished. hear what the Cubs fan has to say about this. All right, go ahead. Jesus God. All right. Uh, well, anyway, no, Gene. Here this, again, let's do this. Let's try this. Okay. Three games, mm. three game series, first oh, of two right. wins. Right. Bam, one, two, three, three days in a row, be mm. finished by Thursday. Whoever wins, you know, whoever yeah. wins two games, win. You don't you don't move to the other site. You have three games run in a row like a regular goddamn series. Yeah. In the uh you know, season. So, yeah. you know, you you ain't pulling shit like uh, you know, uh, Scherzer and then uh, Stra- you know, Strasburg. Right. I mean, Gene, I, and by the way, Gene, I, you know, you're a little, you got a couple more years on me. Yes, I do. But, I mean, this, the la- the, the first time I remember seeing this, like, double ace pitcher playing in one game was, like, uh, the 01 World Series oh. with uh, Randy Johnson. Yeah. And, and uh, Kurt Phil, Schilling. Yeah, Kurt Schilling. But this did not, like, happen, right? Like, right. 20, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, this no. is a fairly new phenomenon. They re- that's happening a lot in the playoffs this year. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, and you're right, because Oakland, Oakland went through the same thing. They had a great year, and uh, I bet they had, like, a three-game, because they can never get past a wild-card game. Yeah. So, They've lost, I think, 10 straight elimination games, something like something yeah. crazy. So let, let's – how about we play, like, a series, you know, like – and by the way, the, the, re- the regular playoffs could take, you know – a tip from this too. Mm. It, it's, it's it's these crazy things. You play 162 games where you're you know trying to make sure you don't exhaust your bullpen and going on a losing streak, and then you got like you know one game every four days, and uh, you can use every one under the sun. Yeah, completely unrealistic. Well, hey, let's get that schedule whittled down, players and and owners. <laughs> yeah, let's and extend. Agree. Let's extend the. Uh, let's playoffs. get that schedule next year. They're starting in March. Can you imagine that? Ooh, very cold. So let's let's get that schedule whittled down to one. Gene March, there's a doubleheader next week. <laughs> For God's sakes. Yeah, yeah. I'm and, I'm, uh, I'm kind of with you. I mean, it's it's so it's so. I mean, your season's so great. They're, next week. I mean, I like I like the two extra teams or the one extra team right. of the wild card. But let's. Uh, I think we can tweak hey, that one game. The Brewers uh, as great, and they had a great run to end the season. Their season ended one day after the Cubs. So. Two days after the Cubs, Monday, oh, Tuesday. Oh, yeah, two days. All right. All right you got well, two days. I mean, technically, you you know, you probably lost a month yeah, ago. Yeah, you didn't have to go through the misery of falling apart technically. emotionally. Well, we did le- lose the last four games in a row, so that did suck. We lost to the uh, Colorado oh, yeah, Rockies, got right. swept, and then we— Wow, uh, the Cubs are trying to help you out. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, exa- uh, we'll get to that in a second here, yeah. but— uh, 
tell you what, Gene, things were looking good in the beginning of the game. Grandel oh hits a two-run home run. Yeah, of course. And then Thames hits a home run right, the next right. inning. And it's 3-0. Flexen, he was really fired up when he hit that home yeah, run. Brent, God, that guy's so huge. Uh, Woodruff is dealing. Yeah. Um, I think they did pull him a little bit too uh, mm. quick, but uh, it's all right. Uh, here's, here's, a, here's a story, Gene. Yeah. Uh, in the middle of the game. By the way, I was uh, at a bar what because it was right a bar right by my workplace. Okay. And uh, watching the game, and uh, I was happy, Gene. Yeah, things of were looking good. I was too. I mean, it, it, yeah, it was rolling. And uh, with Nationals, they seemed like they were out of hope, really. Yep. So it was uh, bottom of the eighth, three three mm. one. They did get a t- uh, home run off uh, Woodruff, and Josh Hader comes out for the last six wow. outs. He got two outs, right? And, right uh, and I think he got one out, one maybe, out, or maybe he walked someone. I can't he, quite the guy remember. Hit, he hit Rondon. That oh, hurt. yeah. Well, that, yeah, and that yeah. was bullshit. Even a guy at the bar who uh, – even a bartender at the bar who barely even saw the play right. said, like, oh, no, that's a uh, – that's a uh, – you know, that's a hit. You know, or an out because it hit the bat. It hit oh, the bat. yeah. And they didn't, yeah. they didn't change that. You know what I mean? Mm. So, uh, you know, they walk a couple guys, his fastball and his slider and all this crap. You know, I'm not going to pretend like I know this stuff. Uh, but apparently he did not have control. Oh, my gosh. The oh, walk stuff, and Gene. the hit batter. Because he was up on Rendon. Then he went to three and two. And then on the three and two count, he hit him, I believe. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. And then this fucking Soto kid. Oh, my Cock- God. Cocky motherfucker. That, he's only 20 years old, I think. Yeah. So he hits a uh, base hit. Should probably only score two runs right. and to tie the it, game. It would have scored two. Probably. And then Trent Grisham. Oh, boy. A stud from the minor leagues. Uh, f- pulls a Bill Buckner, Gene. Yeah. This is the Brewer Bill Buckner. Yeah, that was a tough and, one. And uh, passes the ball. He's, he looked up before he had to control the ball. Of course, the ball gets past him. He's running. One more score. I'm, I'm surprised, like, the Soto didn't score. You know what I mean? I thought it was going to be just, like, four runs right yeah. there, you know? And uh, But then they threw Soto out. And then all of a sudden, it's 3-4. Oh, my gosh. 3-4. Nationals that going to the top guy. of the ninth. Yeah. That that guy, wow, that's a tough error for uh, – oh, boy. And then, of course, I mean, uh, luckily, Brewers, Milwaukee, Brewers didn't do shit. Lost Milwaukee, the game. Milwaukee seemed to be very forgiving. If that was a World Series game seven and he was a Yankee or even on the Cubs or Boston, they that would have been a tough one to come back from. Yep. And, uh, yeah, people are saying, like, uh, Hater, it's Hater's fault. Well, I mean, he definitely had help. Yeah. Of course, he lost. And uh, I mean, Grisham messed up the ball. Uh, but you know what? The Brewers, you know, they lost three games to end the season. Yeah. They could have. Uh, yeah, and the Cubs, the Cubs helped them they out. They could do it. The Cubs, the Cubs beat the Cardinals two games to help them out. They yeah. could have taken the division lead right there. Gotta, You're right. Gotta, I think they, you know, I don't like this uh, celebrating getting into the uh, playoffs because everyone oh. gets hung over and you're going to fuck up your mojo. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think yeah. that's what happened. I think they, uh, so, you know, you see those pictures of uh, Euchre getting sprayed with beer. Right. And High Life. Uh, how about how, hey, you? Is, is it your bedtime? What, what are you doing up? <laughs> huh? He must have been so disappointed. I, I bet, uh, sad. It, it was a tough, uh, tough loss for the Brewers. They had a great year. They really did. They yeah. And then yeah. of course I'm walking on. I'm just like I just spent 162 days. Yeah, minimum exactly. three hours right, watching right, these right. fucking wait nothing. a second. No, not these guys. Yeah, twins. Hey. Tw- Hey, by the way, I uh, may I, I uh, our friend Mark uh, Merrick, whose son is, plays uh, Troy. I, I am all in on the Twins bandwagon now. Not not the Cardinals. Forget it. I want to <laughs> Twins all the way. Yep. All they right. Look, so we'll, we'll talk. We'll, yeah, we might as well just move on to yeah, the uh, other yeah. teams here. Uh, but aren't you aren't you rooting for the Twins? Yeah, sure. I'll, I I don't hate the Twins. No, Twins are from Minnesota. Twins. I love Minnesota. <laughs> I I don't. Wow, I'm really? really, I'm really mixed on St. Louis because they are our neighbors, and I, I, I should support them, and, and I don't like Atlanta. Well, so I'm kind of rooting for St. Louis, but not that much. St. Louis won. I think they came back in the top of the yeah, ninth. Yeah, they, they won. Uh, oh, I, wa- I watch one. it. Molina, and they won today. He, Molina, he, he tied the game, and then he won the game. Cause that guy like just kind of like blast out as has like crazy games. You yeah. Know? He, he was great. He, the he, he got the hit with, I think two outs and not going to run to tie. Then he got the sacrifice line. Yeah. Benji, they went crazy. So, all right, so the Cardinals, but I'm on the, game it's five all about the up. twins. 
And, and forget twins. the Yankees. I'm definitely no. Well, Twins are losing right now, unfortunately. Oh, sorry. So zero two. Wait, what game is two zero? It's bottom of the fourth. But are they? Can you believe they started the Dodgers game before the uh, Twins game? Oh, well, twin Dodgers are in Washington. That's why. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, so this is this and, elimination? Uh, game? Have the Twins won yet? I, I no, they haven't. They're zero two. Oh boy, so, uh, mm. they need to win this game. Okay. Uh, to, uh, to anyone then, that likes the Twins, Mark, myself. And then, hey, you know, the Nationals we, are good. We got to win today. Nationals are a good team, so they're giving it all to the uh, Dodgers. I, so, I would uh, get up there for you. I'd do whatever you could, Mark. Thanks. Yeah, you're not supposed to talk. Uh, I, I'm kind of talking today. But, uh, <laughs> whatever it takes to get the Twins over the hump, uh, all right. we're all for. Okay. Yeah. All right, so there you go. That's your uh, right. baseball. It's your baseball playoffs. Oh, yeah, and then one, one really quick story about the uh, – Nationals Park has apparently lost its PA system. Okay. This was during the game, Gene. Shenanigans. I did not know that. During the game. Yeah. Here, let me see if I can. There we go. Yeah. Uh, lost its PA system. The president's race is on hold, and they're doing oh. calisthenics up the first baseline. This is bizarre. Yeah. Well, These guys. M- m- uh, Gene, much imitated, never perfected. Exactly. The sausage race. Gosh, Milwaukee, who else? Now all these teams Everyone's do it. doing it. Yeah, a lot of teams. Uh, hey, well, are the Twins doing it? What do they got? Well, Some freaking oh. lakes? They, what, they got L- Lake Minota? No, but it's Target L- Field. Maybe they got, oh, yeah, they could have someone from each different lake. That'd be a lot of, they, they'd have to narrow down. <laughs> could even tell which ones are different. Uh, hey, how about this? Carp. Yeah. Different carp. carp. <laughs> yeah, stuff you get when you're ice fishing. Four different carps. That's right. Uh, good, good call. That's walleye. what they need. Man, I don't know anything about fish. All right. Okay, and then, so. uh, all right, so let's talk about uh, NCAA football. Jingo, I'll talk about the Iowa well, football. Well, Iowa, uh, we're very – I was going to go to the Michigan game. Thank goodness I didn't. They lost 10-3. to three. Very disappointing, three interceptions. But this week, we uh, the spotlight's going to be in Iowa City, so we're going to beat Penn State Saturday. I can't take losing to them again. Okay. And the Big Ten, Ohio State's great. Ohio State's great. And so Wisconsin. Yeah, Wisconsin. They uh, got a really good that team. That Jason Taylor or Jonathan Taylor? It's Jonathan Taylor, right? Yeah, I think so. He's uh, yeah, he had another four touchdowns yeah, like in the first good. half or something like that. So Wisconsin's got they 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 got a good team. He's gonna be yeah. really bad as a pro. They got tell. a good team, and Ohio State looks really great. Michigan looks terrible, although they does Wisconsin Ohio. Ohio State play this year? No, they're in different brackets. So they'll play they? in the Big Ten title game. No, right. I don't think they play in the ring. I'm not sure. All right. Know. Well, speaking of Wisconsin. Barry. Barry he, Alvarez. Do you know You know my senior year? Uh, uh, we, our, my high school team was ranked number one, and we lost in a championship game to Barry Alvarez, Mason City Mohawks. Things to come. Yeah. Things to come. And then he left after that year. He Did he go to Wisconsin? Yeah. No, he went to Iowa. He helped oh, out okay. him frying, and he moved around. He didn't get to Wisconsin until much later. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, Barry Alvarez was very, quote, unquote, very concerned Uh-oh. with new California college sports law, uh, Bill, whatever it is. But, Gene, uh, you know, we're both from, uh, living in California these days. So yeah. California recently passed a law saying right. that students have to uh, be paid for any likeness. Yeah. Yeah. Or jersey sales. Mm. And uh, Barry Alvarez is, quote, unquote, very concerned. Well, I mean, the Badger, hey, you come to Wisconsin, we'll set you up with a Rocky Rococo's uh, endorsement <laughs> deal. That's what's going to happen, aren't they? <laughs> aren't they going to just pay off yeah, kids the- under uh, a, a, just a sham and saying, hey, you can you can be in our local car dealership commercial Oh, here's two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Wow, that's a lot hey, for a local. I, I wouldn't mind having Rocky Rococo be the coach. <laughs> hey, Coach Rococo. Didn't we lose? We lost him. I think the stores are still open. I don't. know. I think it's ah uh, yeah. You know what? I think a couple did close down. Was, yeah, because uh, the, ma- the mascot didn't the die or the owner? Did? These Someone kids, died. Gene. These kids these days don't know quality pizza. I threw up in the entryway of Rocky <laughs> Rococo's pizza when I was at Iowa when be, the night before the Iowa Badger game. I think and that they, brought us good luck because we be, ended up beating the Badger. And they just kept flipping out those pies, Gene. They didn't bat an eye. Yeah. Right? Good yeah. good so- salad bar, Gene? I don't remember. Like real real bacon bits. Okay. Not not this like crunchy right. bacon bit bullshit you can yeah. get at the store. 
like real bacon bits. Well, Barry is pretty old right. school, so I would say he's like, hey, they're getting an education well, or whatever. I, w- I wouldn't schedule anyone from California right now, Alvarez said during a sports panel Monday organized by, oh. by Milwaukee's WTMJ. If they have different rules than we do, then all of a sudden they're not amateurs. Well, they're all well, not going to be amateurs soon. If California passes it and it gets going, other states are going to follow, I think. Well, of course, the admins were like, hey, he doesn't speak for us. He, we're, we're, everything's yeah. good. We're hey, gonna why still don't you schedule. talk to your players there, uh, Barry? Barry's done a great <laughs> well, job. Well, Barry, on. Barry. Yeah. Uh, Barry, why don't you uh, stick to what you uh, do best, which is uh, covering up sex scandals by your coaches, okay? <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't know. Barry, he was a legend. You yeah. know, he's in the Rose Bowl Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How about those kids? How much did he do? <laughs> oh, my God. How much is how much is total that's earnings? For problem. total earnings? That, that's the problem what? with paying uh, the athletes. You get old school guys like Barry. He ain't going to budge. <laughs> They're all setting their ways. See, he's yeah. like, I didn't get paid back in the 40s when I played. Well, no shit. Oh, when did he play? He played. He yeah. would have wanted to, though, back in the 60s. Yeah, he played in the 60s, I think. I think he grew up in Nebraska. All right. Yeah. I just, I mean, woof. Like these guys are making millions gotta, and billions of dollars. Gotta, yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. It's got to change. Yeah. These yep. kids are getting paid already. Why don't we yep. just, you know, regulate oh, it? By the way, for college football, since I'll be there Saturday, the kid for that raised the beer money, he $3 million for he the Got children's. expelled. <laughs> the guy that raised him for the children's hospital. Yeah, the NCAA, whatever, expelled him, right? <laughs> no, but good job by whoever it was. Oh, my Wait, gosh. Th- wasn't that guy like a racist, too? Didn't he say yeah, something? They, when he was 16, they uncovered some unfortunate tweets. Yeah. Are, we, are, we, yeah, are we really pr- uh, prosecuting people, persecuting people for uh, tweets when they sent when they were 16? 16, and he said he was, he was, uh, it was a joke by some comedian. I, you know, leave these kids alone. He, He's from Iowa. Never yeah, met a black person before. Yeah, he raised $3 million before. for the children's hospital. Yeah. Leave them alone. Just for the white kids. Right. That's it, though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the white kids. Leave them alone. <laughs> No, you rate it. Okay. Um, Baker Maysfield. Baker yeah. Maysfield. Is he going to do something here? Yeah. No. Um, All right. So, Gene, let's uh, talk about the NFL. Yeah. Week five is already what passed. What a great day. I watched both. Usually, well, I actually went to a show last night, but I got to see the Bears. I watched them the whole game. Then I watched the whole Packers game. The Bears were in London, which we'll talk God. about in a second. I'm surprised yeah. I wasn't like at uh, 6 a.m. I know they did a 10 a.m. game, but they so probably it must have been a night game. They probably figured the California audience no way they're going to wake up at 6 a.m. Oh, yeah. to watch the yeah. game, right. especially the Raiders right. fans. Right. Not going to do that. Yeah, I forgot we. All right, on the but let's talk about the Minnesota Vikings sure. first at the New York Giants. And uh, Gene, we're not even talking about the game. We're just going to talk about the drama. Okay. Around this team. So uh, there's a story that said a, a CFL quarterback, and I, I don't remember his name, Gene, but you may have seen this, mm. claims he rejected Vikings' offer because they didn't want a co- quarterback controversy. Oh, no. Didn't know that. Uh, basically, this is a guy who uh, won. He was like the quarterback for the uh, CFL winning team or whatever. Came in for like a uh, workout or whatever, and uh, his staff was saying like, right. you know, what, what are you looking for? He's like, well, I, I, I want to win and be the uh, you know head quarterback. Be the number one quarterback, and they're like, "No, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa yourself." There, uh, we just want you to kind of like back him up and yeah. uh, you know help him out and reinforce him. He said, "No way, Jose." And uh, basically, it was saying like these guys dropped eighty-four million dollars on Kirk Cousins, guaranteed. Wow, they're they're not they're not going back, even if someone's better than him. So that's not good. Wow, that's not good. Not good at all. Uh, remember uh, when Russell Wilson was a rookie, Gene, and uh, who was that? Who, who was that kid? He used to be a part of the Packers. And he had that great game, Matt something. Oh yeah, Matt. Lef- no, no, Matt. Matt. Matt yeah, he had something. one. He had he had he one like good, six touchdowns against right, the Lions right. or something. And then right? he got a huge contract from yeah. Seattle. And then uh, yeah, Russell Wilson, who was a draft pick, like a number third round draft pick, was right. starting. Everyone was like, "What?" Yeah. Uh, and they went on to win the Super Bowl, but uh, not going to happen with the Vikings, I guess. So. I don't know. They were good yesterday, um, though, right? Pretty well, 
I suppose. Again, we're not going to talk with Jim. We got way more stories oh, to talk okay. about. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Vikings find wide receiver Stefan Diggs. Stefan Diggs. What the hell's wrong, Stefan? Where's all your goodwill towards For, your community? Uh, he's too busy uh, recording commercials with garbage cans. Mm. Bad. That's bad behavior. They find him for, for skipping meetings and in practice this week, sources say. That's a lot. Those are hefty fines. And that wasn't the first time Diggs missed a meeting this season. Worth noting, a lot of players get fined for things during a season, though, bottom line. Uh, so, I, actually, I think it was like $200,000. Yes, two hundred for money just for Monday and Tuesday. For can't, for, you, you can't make a meeting. And listen, Gene, I mean, I know the meetings are early, but it's not like it's, you know, 5 a.m. or something like that, you know? It's not like you're getting fired by the Redskins' ownership. Right, right. Oh, that's tacky. So, uh, Gene, when you're uh, – again, Gene, when they're not disciplined – I mean, they're disciplining a player, but, like, why don't you bench him or something like that, right? Yeah. I mean, what's the yeah. next move? I don't know. But, Stefan, he ought to be – come on, dude. Get your – you got a good team. Don't be disruptive. All right, so he did play uh, – he had unexcused absences for practices on Monday and Wednesday and all mandatory meetings – he ran his fine total of excess of two hundred thousand dollars. Wow. Team stands no trade despite injuries. He doesn't have a Inquiries. huge contract. That's a lot of money. They are fucked. Yeah. All right, and then uh, yeah, so uh, Minnesota did beat uh, the Giants with a rookie head quarterback. The defense uh, played pretty well. Uh, and then after the game, Gene. Uh oh. What? I mean, everyone's happy and all this. Yeah. Hey, look at that. We won. Well, uh, Kirk, uh, phone call. Phone call for oh, Kirk. Oh, I heard that today. Phone call for Kirk. Gene, say, who is it? Oh, who's that? Hey, hello. It's, it's the president. This is Kirk. What? It's the president, Kirk. What? President Ta- take Trump? Take the call. Take the call. Oh, my God. All right, so we're not going to read it. I'm not going to do a Trump. Oh, okay. I'm not ready to do a Trump. But that was amazing. Trump called White. So he might, Kirk Cousins must support him. <laughs> so, well, they went golfing, apparently. Oh, okay. Well, Tr- and explain. Gene Trump is planning a visit to Minnesota later this week for a Keep America Great rally. He needs a little goodwill. It's scheduled or to take place at Target good Center. Publicity. According to a source, the two briefly discussed a rally, but Cousins will not be attending. The team said the focus of the call was not the rally. Wow. He definitely asked Cousins to be there, right? I would appreciate yeah. it if you went there. Yeah. In 2017, Cousins disclosed he had played a round of golf with Trump. Mm. Uh, which happened as the NFL was embroiled in the controversy over players kneeling during the national anthem, a display of protests, show up, blah, 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 spoke strongly out against. Cousin told the USA, I've tried to listen and learn and at the same time support my country that I love. Mm. All right, you little weasel. Uh-oh. By the way, he apologized to uh, uh, Thielen. What's his name? Anthony Thielen? What's the guy's yeah, name? Yeah, something like that. Thielen? Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen. At, yeah, he's from like a Division Three squad. I think he was undrafted. Wasn't that the white guy? Was that the, the Thielen? Player? Yeah, yeah. He's the uh, Vikings, Jordy Nelson. Basically. Yeah, yeah. And I think he was undrafted. I think he played a small school. Gina, uh, remember when Montana apologized to Jerry Rice? Uh, no. Or Tom Brady apologized no. to Troy Brown? Uh no, I don't. Or uh, Brett Favre apologizing to uh, Antonio Freeman? No, I don't. Why Why? Why don't I remember that? Because they never did. Oh, see? Thank you. There you go. That's a nice setup. There, I knew where you are going. And they I, never and did. They never did it. Yeah. Yeah. Gene, <laughs> <I've>, uh, <laughs> we've had like basically five stories here. Right. Vikings are fucked. No, wait a Vikings second. Vikings are going to disintegrate this year. I, if, the, if the Packers can't win, then I want the Bears to win. If they can't win... Then I'm 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 giving to give a hard look to Minnesota, all right. <laughs> hard had two. hard pass for me. No, when you they're gonna want, have a terrible. Okay, would you rather win? Okay, they're would gonna you go rather, six and ten. You don't want New England to win again. You'd rather the Vikings win, right? No, hell no. I really, who cares if the New England wins? I'm mean, I'm not from New England. I'm not yeah, from but Miami. You don't want Minnesota not to win. They've of course I don't enough. want them to win. Just like I don't want the Bears to win. Oh my God! See, Gene, I'm from a state with a team. Gene, you're you're, not, you're in Iowa. You're in the I, middle. I know, I know. We're, That's I'm, like saying, do you want Ohio State <laughs> to beat? You know, do you want Michigan to beat Iowa? I support the Big Ten. Well, why not? I support the NFC North, except I don't like the Lions very much. But all right, yeah. Uh, Bears at Oakland. That at, was disappointing. In the UK, I watch every every play. They were down seventeen to nothing to Oakland. How the hell does that happen? Oakland might be better. Do you think John Gruden could mm-hmm. actually be a, no. a decent coach? No, I don't think so. No. 
I don't think well, they're very good. Well, they were good. They were decent. Derek Carr, if Derek Carr is good, maybe they're decent. Okay, I said it. But the Bears, they, they're, they're in trouble. Because Chase Daniel, everyone was kind of excited about him. He... He stunk Not, it up. Oh, my gosh. Those two interceptions were awful. He was still in uh, central standard time. Yeah. he threw t- Those two interceptions were brutal. Too much, uh, too many fish and chips, Gene, in England. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh, up. Uh, o- uh, Oakland was up 17-0, and zero, but Bears come back. Yeah, great. Can great, win or great tie second it. second half. Yeah, can they win took the lead. Or tie 17. the game with two minutes left. But Chase throws a bad interception. Oh, did you he basically see that threw pass? it up. Oh yeah, he threw it up. So I'm like, I mean, there wasn't even just, a bear anywhere around, he, right? There's three guys, three Raiders, and he he didn't even like throw it on target. He just floated it. That's Favre, what, you, you guys wanted a Brett Favre, huh? There you go. That, but Brett Favre would have gunned it at somebody. <laughs> <He> just, <laughs> Not all the time. Well, I, that was one of the worst passes I've ever yeah. seen. I mean, they had time to go down the field and get the field goal and. Damn, so Gina, are you telling me Chase Daniels is so bad he's not even going to be able to beat Trubisky for the job? I don't. I That's think pretty Trubisky, bad. Well, the Bears got a bye week. He's coming back. That had to be a painful trip. They came back today. Man, Nagy oh must be God. like, oh, my God. Well, I, thought offense, I, I thought I was especially, safe. Especially, look at Deshaun Watson yesterday. I guess he had a perfect quarterback rating. Uh, and then Patrick Mahomes is so great. Yeah, and the Bears, they, they could have had either of them. And they, took the, and they moved up to take a guy nobody wanted. <laughs> White guy no one wanted. Yeah. His way, there you go. All right. Uh, but I don't know. And then oh. Khalil Mack, this is supposed to be his big uh, FU game yeah. to the Raiders, didn't talk after the game that's in violation good. of the NFL's media policy. They, that's, they should, yeah. Blimey. <laughs> Blimey. All right. But Raiders guard Richie Incognito yeah. talked enough for both of them. Of course, oh, of course, we take that personally, Incognito said uh, via Josh Dubnow of the Associated Press. Of course, we take that personally. Gene, he's been on the team for like, what, five minutes? <laughs> yeah. He, he is allowed to stay to the Khalil Mack. He was suspended yeah. the first couple games. So what, what is he talking about? I don't know. But Khalil Mack, if you're going to be a leader... You can't hide when you lose, right? Do you agree with that? <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess if you're apologizing to your uh, pl- fellow players, yeah, you don't want to hide. Yeah, but I mean, if you're you stand up to the media and, yeah, and take say, it like a man, you yeah, got beat. Yeah, that's I. I'm telling you, that's a big deal. Take a lick and keep on Zan taking. Rogers right? ever said, "No, nah, I don't think so." That's <laughs> right. Uh, he was talking about how he was looking forward to playing us and all that stuff. That's history. We came out and we were physical with him, and they did not like it. Mm. They did not like it. Yeah, the Bears did not like it. They got man, they got up. they got beat up. They got beat up. Their defense got beat up, and their offense wasn't that great. I thought, even though with all that bad stuff, they made a good comeback, and I thought they're going to win. I can't. Yeah, terrible, bad loss, bad bad loss. Because now they got some tough games. Bears might be in trouble. That's all <laughs> well, I'm saying. The uh, Green Bay Packers are looking what pretty good. Great at four that, one. Although it got a little nerve wracking there, but gosh, they look good. They? Well, and the Aaron defense Rogers, he didn't even he I'm playing fantasy this year and, and he's my quarterback and he didn't even throw a touchdown yesterday. Nope. The Aaron Jones had four touchdowns, like uh, 180 yards or something like that. Yeah, he looked really, really good, even though I guess Jamal Williams is the guy that got hurt last week. But uh, Aaron Jones looks pretty goddamn good, too. Wow. He was slicing and dicing through that defense. Uh, Packers. Defense themselves uh, caused three interceptions on Dak Prescott, who Even looked though, pretty bad. But he threw for game. almost 500 yards, right? Yeah, I guess those are those garbage time. Yeah, uh, but he stats. threw some bad interceptions. It's not even garbage time. I mean, I guess it's like like no, it's like a don't, prevent don't defense type stuff. Don't you think he makes stuff. some bad decisions? Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, he tries to force stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So. That's that's a good way to describe it. He forces it. Dak don't force it. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, just a couple other things. So uh, they show these graphics about the uh, quarterbacks versus uh, teams uh, versus the Cowboys and vice versa. Uh, Brett Favre, 2-9. and nine Wow. Against the Cowboys. Oh, wow. wow. Now, I know the Cowboys destroyed him all the time, always, but I didn't realize it was 2-9, man. I didn't either. I thought it was no more idea. like 5-4 and no, four or something no, like that, or 4-5. No. and five. Wow. Not good. Not good. And then uh, wow. Troy Aikman, by the way, was 7-2. and two. Against the Packers, wow. and uh, I think Brett, uh, I'm sorry, Aaron Rodgers is like uh, 
I think now he's like eight and two or something like that. And two great wins so. in Dallas, right? The last two times. Yep. Great yeah, for sure. Gosh, All right, so the Cowboys game. didn't have a comeback, so the Brewers kind of yeah. took their foot off the gas. The Packers, uh, Packers, the did, Brewers yeah. were watching from home. That yeah, that got pretty interesting, right? Kind uh, of. Yeah, for sure. Got a little worrisome. Yeah. Uh, let me just say, Gene, these these penalties, these in, uh, pass interference, right, and these right. holding, it's just these penalties are out of control. Yeah. All right, yeah. just completely out of control. Yeah. So can we just figure this out, please? I may give I give the Cowboys good I, I credit for going for the field goal when they did instead of yeah. Good, well, they went good, for the field goal, had a false start. Yeah, had a false start, uh, and then uh, next next the kick again, miss it. Oh my gosh. Can't miss they could have gotten within yeah. seven points on yeah. a uh, offside kick. That was kick. a good strategy, but uh, yeah, it doesn't yeah, help when you miss it. All right, so uh, Packers pretty much destroyed the Dallas. It was pretty fun listening to Cousin Sal lament. Oh, I haven't uh, listened to today. him yet. He must have not loved it. He was in Green Bay uh, a week ago. So they're saying they're saying that the uh, Packers might be one of the best teams, like them yeah. and the Saints in the hey, NFC. Hopefully, I'll be there next Monday. It's Monday Night Football, Packers-Lions, so I'll see. You gonna try to go I, there? I already got a hotel room in Green Bay. That's the hard part. <laughs> yeah, you, you have go. to stay in Appleton or somewhere. But Give yeah, it to I, it's gonna be I, tough plan, I uh, but I got some stuff going on at home, so we'll see. But yeah, hopefully, maybe I might be there. Sure, that'd be my third Packers game of the year already. All right, Eagles Vikings next week. So hopefully the Eagles take care of business against the Vikings. The Eagles are good. They're playing. They good. are good. Yeah. Uh, and then what else we got? Bears there? are off. Bears are yeah. off. Yeah. So. Yeah, okay, and then, uh, yeah, so by the way, the the Packers play the Lions Monday night. Lions yeah. had a bye this week. So you're decent. telling me they got 15 days or eight days? No, 15 days, right, Bef- between games? How does that work? Mm. Huh? I don't know. Where's the parody in that? Where's it? Goodell? Parody? Yeah. Mm. All right. Green Bay, keep it up. They're good. They're good, though. I like, They're yeah, they're tough. All right, so uh, I like the uh, mojo of the team for sure. I do too. All right, and then just really quick, Indianapolis at Kansas City, uh, pretty I, pretty fun when game I was last at night. Blue Man Group, so I didn't see one. I didn't see any of this game. Yep. Well, uh, Kansas City was blue. Uh oh. And Gene, here uh, this is I, I guess you know I'm a fan of uh, Andy uh, Andy Reid. See now, however, he, he did be, have a pretty dumb play. He would be on my list of coaches I'd like to see win because they were been yeah, so for sure. What did he do? So it was basically five minutes left. Uh, it, Kansas City was down. It was I think it was sixteen to uh, ten at that yeah. point. So uh, yeah, so five minutes left. It's fourth and one. It seemed like they almost may punt, but it uh, seems like uh, Mahomes is like, "Yo, let's go for it, let's go right, for it, let's right. go for it." Yeah. And he reads like, "All right, fine, we'll go for it." And then they do a stupid uh, like, you know, eye formation, you know, with a uh, fullback and a running back behind oh. him and all this stuff, and they just run it up the gut and get, you know, get, mm. get stopped, stu- stuffed, wow. get stuffed. That game, that game last night, and re- uh, that pretty much ended the game. Well, right that there. reminds me of the kind of games Kansas City loses in the playoffs when they're really good. Then they have a crappy team. Yeah, close in. games. So maybe, maybe, maybe this is the year they'll win in the playoffs. Yeah, I like to see Kansas City win. Yeah, for sure, it'd be a fun Super Bowl, right? Yeah. Packers, uh, KC oh, that'd in the be playoffs. Great. That would be fantastic. That's what I'm hoping for. That would yeah. be pretty nice. And we're gonna get a preview of that because they uh, they do they play right. Yeah. They play the West, I believe. Oh, do they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because where we play the Broncos. Oh, yeah, and then uh, uh, the Packers come play the Chargers. Yep. It'd be a, uh, All right. Yeah. All right, well, there you go, Gene. That's Fantastic. the show. Fantastic. Go, go. Uh, hopefully, I'll be uh, – hey, maybe I can do a live report from uh, Lambeau Field next week. Yeah, if I uh, – I'll be on – I'll be uh, right outside the Ashwabadon sign. <laughs> if, if I'm going to be sober enough to uh, work the computer. <laughs> so, we'll see about that. Yeah. Okay. May not be the best thing. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We are going to uh, end the show right there. Yeah. And uh, thanks for watching and listening, as always. Uh, so for Gene Stacker, oh, my name my is Chris gosh. Stotts. It's yeah. been the Midwest yeah. Sports Show. We'll see you guys Bye, next everybody. week. Thank you. Go Vikings, Bears, Packers. Yeah. I forgot.